You want to get fabric mods for Minecraft 1.21.10? Let's do it. First things first, go to the second link down below. That will take you here. This is where you can download fabric. Just click the download button to go to the official download fabric page. And on this page, just click this download for Windows link and the Windows installer for fabric will begin installing. You will need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. We're also going to need to get some fabric mods. There are tons out there, but all of them require the fabric API. This is is linked down below as well and we can click to download it and go to files here. Then you want to find that 1.21.10 version and click the three dots and click download and the download will begin. Now while this is downloading, I don't want to mention that if you want to play Minecraft mods with your friends, the easiest way to do that is with our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add fabric mods, you can add plugins, you can truly customize the server any way that you want and play all that with your friends. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So don't struggle to play Minecraft with your friends. Do it the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown .xyz sgh. Now with the Fabric API downloaded, we'll want to get other mods as well. Moderinth and CurseForge are the most popular places to do that. And when downloading them, you just want to go to the left-hand side and make sure that you're downloading Fabric mods for the 1.21.10 version. You can also do this on Moderinth. We can filter for 1.21.10 and Fabric, and all these are for those specific versions. When downloading a mod, you just want to go ahead and click on it. And then I always recommend going to Files and then clicking on the specific version you want, which is our 1.21.10 Fabric version here. Then you want to make sure that you're downloading not only this mod, which we can do by clicking download here, but before we do that, you want to go to related projects because there might be something else required. The Fabric API is required. We've already gotten that, but you also need Balm. So we'll open this up in a new tab and download that as well, but we can go ahead and download Waystones. Now, the thing is you can download Balm here from Curse Forge, and it's the same process, but you can also do this on Modern. For example, if we come in here and search for way stones, we'll be able to find way stones here, and we can go to versions, and then we can find the bomb mod the same way right here under dependencies and download it. So that's what you're going to need to do in order to make sure that you are getting your mods installed the correct way. Because if you had tried to install Waystones without Bomb, it wouldn't have worked. It's a very common thing that you will run into. So keep that in mind. But we now have everything downloaded and we can minimize our browser and go ahead and start off by installing Fabric. So we have this Fabric installer here. Go ahead and double click on it. It will open like any other program. And then we need to go ahead and make sure 1.21.10 is selected. Create profile is checked and click install. It's now going to install Fabric 1.21.10 and we're good to go. We can click OK. Close out of this and actually delete the Fabric installer. Now we need to get these mods installed. To do that, I'm going to drag them to the desktop just for ease of use. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now in the Minecraft launcher, all we're going to need to do is go to the installations tab up here at the top. Then we want to go to this fabric loader 1.21.10 installation, hover over it and click the folder icon to open up our Minecraft folder. Finally, you'll have a mods folder. If you don't have one, just go ahead and make one. Open it up and drag and drop any fabric mods you want to install. This will work for these mods, but any mods you want for 1.21.10 will work without issue. Close out of the mods folder and play Minecraft using the fabric installation. If you don't play with the fabric installation, your mods won't work, so you want to make sure you're always playing with this installation to ensure things are installed and working. Now in game, there's no default indication here that fabric's working. For example, there's no mods button or anything, so we'll have to jump in game. Where we can go ahead and open this up, click over, and we will see that Waystones is in fact installed. So we could jump down here, put a Waystone on this side. See, there's our other Waystone, and we can go back and forth. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.